Historically, we presumed that the mother would be the best suited parent for caring for children, particularly the young children. And the judges would tend to favor giving primary custody to the mother. We changed the law. We took away the terminology of custody and visitation rights. That's not even in our statute anymore. We talk now about conservatorships. And we introduced the term managing conservator and sole conservator and possessory conservator. The presumption is that it's going to be a joint managing conservator unless you can prove that the other parent is a bad parent. There's even something called nesting where the primary residence where the children had been living is the child's home and the parents move in and out. The judge looks at if one parent has a much greater earning ability than the other parent. They don't want the child to go one week in poverty and one week in plenty. If one parent lives in Houston and the other parent lives in Dallas, they're not going to be able to switch off those kids every other week. Judges tend to really kind of favor making the two parents equal as much as possible, switching off custody every other week or every two weeks. They like doing that because it gives them the opportunity to see if it's going to work while we're in temporary orders. Sometimes while the one party thinks it's going to work, it turns out that it doesn't work the way they thought it was going to. The reality in court is that's not what we're seeing. These days, the fathers really do have a pretty good chance that they are going to actually be able to have equal rights with their children if that's what they truly want. I've won cases like that. I have won many cases where the father was given the sole custody because he was truly the better parent. 